Morning, Tim from Scott Country. Uh, here with another exciting new release. Uh, this time we're back in the game with Pulsar. So as you'll remember, as you'll see, the Fermian 2 LRF model. The chassis has not changed. I like to refer to these as Range Rovers. Um, just amazing. Just keep adding bits and making them better and better and better. So what you will see. Obviously the large APS-3 turret on the top there, you'll see slightly different on the end, is a 60mm objective lens. Now, what they've done is given you a bigger objective lens, allow that greater focal length to give you greater magnification with minimal pixelation. Um, what they've done at the back there, as you'll see that's slightly larger at the, at the back. Now what's happened inside here is they've gone with a curved round display. Some of the features of, that you normally get along the bottom menu bar have been maneuvered around the screen. Um, but what you are getting in that display resolution is a 2560 by 2560 display. Um, the processor again, 1024, 768. So not the big specs like some of the other stuff, but what you do get is an image from Pulsar like no other image. and it might not be as big on paper, but it's just pristine. It's just, you can't describe a Pulsar image. There's just no words for it. Base magnification of times two up to 20. As I said there, 60 mil focal length of the F 1.1 lens, 12 micron sensor, 50 megahertz refresh rate, sub 35 net D with a 2,800 meter detection range with an 800 meter laser range finder. Um, few different things you get in the box. Obviously with the XL model, the XL50, you still get the remote control. You used to get an APS-3 turret, an APS-2 turret and battery. Done away with that now, we've got just two APS-3 batteries and the APS-3 turret. Stay tuned to see some more footage of this coming. And there is some other models in the line in the lineup of this. So there's gonna be an XP60, there's gonna be an XG, which again, Ye old faithful XG that I've always loved. Now both the XP and the XG are going to be 644 80 sensors. Obviously XG remaining at sub 40 and the XP remaining at sub 25. Good thing about the XG, the magnification will be times 4 to 32. So still being that long range um, target shooting scope, 4 to 32. Now if it's anything like the last XG, that's going to be the winner in my opinion. The XP also gets a little boost up again from times three to times 24 on the base magnification. So big changes, long ranges. Right, so one thing I'm just going to cover uh, on the new Pulsar range of Fermions, the, the 60 mils that are coming out. So you'll see on the spec sheets that there is a system net D and a sensor net D. Now, with every with every sensor every sensor that's created now there's there's a there's a net d value on that sen on that sensor that you is just is, is what it is so with with the sensor net d so say that be sub 35 net d that's the that's the maximum you can get out of that sensor now with the system obviously this the sensor is built is the sensor that's that part there now with the system you can reprogram that with uh, different programming and algorithms to create a, no, a lower net D value in combination with the two. So think of that one, sub 35 net D and with a system algorithm, you can lower that uh, value to give you greater performance overall. So obviously net D, the lower the net D, the more performance you'll see within uh, the thermal image, the more uh, algorithms and programming you put onto that, the more refined you can bring that down to that minimum level of say 35 net D. Now, the, the more stuff, the more algorithm and programming you put onto that is only gonna refine it. So th think of it like, like tuning a car. So you've got your engine at 35 net D and the more tuning and mapping you put onto it, the smoother and greater performance you're gonna get out of it. So in conjunction of the two net D values, you'll get the system 
and you'll get the sensor. They're the, they're the two left and rights basically of what you'll get. So with that allows you to achieve um, greater performance from a, a standard sensor with the cl clever programming of the algorithms and um, the refinement of the sensor effectively. So stay tuned for some more footage on the, uh, the Pulsar stuff. Big performance, big ranges, and I know which one I'm gonna be choosing in the near future. Should I be treating myself to a Pulsar? I think I will. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Night Vision Show. If you like this sort of content, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified when we release all our latest videos. And tune in next week to see a full review on the new Knockpix Ace S60R. See you then. Cheers.